Hey everybody, MDW again, and today I'm going to do a quick review on the 6 inch Star Wars black figure Captain Cassian Andor from the new Rogue One line. So the figure comes in the standard black series window box packaging. Close up of the figure there. And some artwork of the character in the bottom. Number of the figure on the side and then a brand new bio for Captain Andor on the back. Outside of the box, lots of details as you'd expect from the six inch line there. My paint app was absolutely great, so no bits of splodging or anything. A lot of detail on it as well, so they picked out his beard, all the bits of his fur and his coat, and on his belt particularly, all the metal bits as well. Okay, so let's have a look at the articulation of Captain Andor. So, like all the black figures, he's got uh, the head on a uh, ball joint. So you can go left, right, up and down. He also has a removable hat, um, which you can just literally pop off here, so it sits on his head when he comes in the box with it. So you just literally take that off, fits on there nicely and snugly. You take it off and it gives his head a bit more motion there. His arms are on a ball joint, so his shoulders can go up, down, backwards there. And then his, um, you know, his uh, elbow joints are on a ball as well, so he can swivel, rotate, in and out, so good range of motion there. And then his hands are on a ball as well, so they can swivel right around there, so plenty of motion. Uh, his coat uh, is made of a harder plastic, so you can't really you know, bend it or move it that far. Uh, it does allow for the legs to still have some range of motion on them though, so you can open his legs out, um, and then front, forwards and backwards. Like I said, that the front tunic piece here kind of does hinder the movement a little bit. The hard plastic. Yeah, his knee joints bend at the knees. Are quite stiff actually, so they bend there, um, just kind of literally up and down with his knee pads. And he's got a second little bend, which is below the knee as well. Um, so it kind of makes him do some <laughs> strange poses there. I don't even see that, but it kind of looks like his legs are strange shape there. Um, but the, yeah, the top ones fine for kind of dynamic poses and then his foot is on like the little hinge kind of joint as well so it goes up and down there um, it hasn't got a swivel to it but you know that helps a lot with him standing up um, yeah that's it let's look for the articulation there so Captain Andor comes with two accessories one of them is the iconic blaster rifle painted in a metal color all over with no additional detail unfortunately and a cool little pistol that has two colours on it, metal and black, which is kind of reminiscent of the pistol that Howland gives Ray in Force Awakens and also Han's blaster pistol as well. So that's pretty cool. He actually has a little holster to put his pistol in, pops out there and then fits in very snugly and does back up again with a little strap. That's a nice addition. So there we go all. There's a quick look at the Cassan Andor figure from the new Rogue One line. Overall, pretty decent figure. He does absolutely look like a member of the Rebel Alliance with the classic Rebel Alliance beard going on there. Um, cool figure, like I said, and hopefully I'll try and get more of these over the next couple of weeks. It's quite hard to judge how cool he's actually gonna be until we see the film itself, but it's not far away now. Thanks very much, guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe. More to come. Speak to you soon.